You're on. How am I on? You're on. We're going to Bathurst to drive the... What, it, what are we driving? Driving the Maserati Levante GTS. I quite like the Maserati, the V6, the, uh, the top of the range, so this will be interesting. <laughs> That's it. We're in Bathurst. <laughs> we actually don't know what we're doing. We have no idea. We usually come into these things with a bit of itinerary. We don't have one. The Maserati Levante GTS. Okay, Let's do it. First thoughts. Um, yeah, it's very black this one, isn't it? Very, <laughs> very charcoal, very black. The interior is quite nice. Yeah, the stitching is quite nice, isn't it? Great. So this is the top spec of, out of the three. So we've got three here, four here right now. Um, this one, then that one's driving past now. I've got that one which is slightly lower, and then the blue one. This just, I don't know, this doesn't feel like a V8. So, um, we fucked up yesterday, we're not driving the GTS Levante. We have gone the other way and we're driving the new entry point to the brand. It's the most accessible Maserati that uh, the brand has ever produced, starting in Australia at 125k. This one is the Grand Sport. Uh, they obviously have a choice of the luxury package or the sport package. The exact same drivetrain, we're in the Grand Sport. We thought we were driving a V8 yesterday. We're not, we're driving the brand's <laughs> entry, entry level car, not their top of the range car. Um, I don't we know what happened. We should probably explain a few of our uh, <laughs> gripes yesterday. initial reactions yesterday. Uh, but it sounds good, 125K. We're in the Grand Sport package. It's got the sport seats, uh, just a sportier trim option. They've also got the Grand Lusso, which is here, which we'll be driving later in a grey uh, with some Xenia interiors. And yeah, we're having a quick squirt around Mount Panorama. So I'm now in straight manual mode, down in second. As we come down through the S's at Mount Panorama. And it sounds good. It certainly sounds pretty good. At 125 grand. And for what you're buying too, you're buying a Maserati, it's luxurious, it's... It's exclusive. It's exclusive, that's it. It's exclusive has been the word that's been kind of bounced around a lot in the last 12 hours. So we were just told that Levante in Australia makes up for 50% of the brand's volume. So they expect that to continue with this car and then they will launch a Levante GTS which maybe we'll get to drive at some <laughs> point. Um, sort of to end of 2019, 2020, um, unconfirmed when that'll come to Australia. But that will have a significant price jump from the Levante S. Um, and so it should with a twin turbo V8 in it. It's got a bit of go, no doubt about that. Feels quick, doesn't it? It's pretty quick. You really have to pull on those yeah. levers, don't you? I've seen sports cars, actual sports cars that have smaller paddles. Yeah, I'm just going for it. So I just opened up the price list for this particular car. This car, the Grand Sport and the Grand Lusso in front of us are $159,990. So that's a 35K jump out of the foundation model car, which I just had a quick look inside. It looks bloody great. What's interesting about this price list is the Levante S starts at 179.990 and the Levante Grand Sport is 189.990. But if you drop it down to the entry model, the difference in price is 35 grand. Whereas if you're up at Levante S price, it's 10 grand. So yeah, right. I'd like to see a spec sheet for the foundation model car and a spec sheet for this car and see what you're actually getting for your extra 35 grand. That would be interesting. But they, they just want to have that, that entry price as low as possible. So yep. it, it is... They bring people into the car, yeah. into the brand. Yeah, of course. And then they upsell they see, them. They see what they can get and they upsell. Yeah. Interesting. 
because yeah. they won't have to upsell someone as much in the Levante S because it is only the 10 grand more. And, Correct. And they're already purchasing, uh, purchasing a Levante S, which is, which is you know, what, 179 Yeah. starting price? So what we've surmised is that they make no money on the foundation model yeah. and they make lots of money on the Grand Sport and the Grand also. Yeah. This is the foundation model. Levante 350. As you can see, there's not shitloads of difference, but there is in price. Look, it doesn't look as good. I'm not doubting that. But inside, it's pretty similar to the Grand Lusso, obviously not in exact finishing. I'll tell you what, it sounds good from the outside. Us taking some video and coming down to this corner I mean it sounds fucking great much has changed in the last uh, <laughs> four hours. <laughs> Just been driving some uh, slightly nicer country roads which have been fun and we are now in Canberra and we're ready to go home and we are so ready for a beer it's unbelievable. So we've just finished our day with Maserati um, the 350 today. I thought it was a pretty compelling package at 125. The base model I can't really see the appeal of stepping up to the Grand Sport or the Grand Musso, we decided that if you're looking at that price, you may as well sort of just jump up and buy the Levante S. At 125, it's certainly a compelling package, and I mean, if that's the sort of money you're looking to spend on an SUV for the badge, it's certainly worth checking out. 